Another way to represent numbers is with a tens and ones math, okay? We are going to talk about how we can use this to represent one digit numbers, but then also two digit numbers. And then um, we're gonna learn how we can use base 10 blocks as well. So first I'm going to show you how we would represent the number five. Okay, so let me write the number five. How many digits is the number five? The number five is a one digit number because it's made up of one digit, which is the number five. So that means that we only need to use ones to build the number five, okay? I'm going to take, I'm going to represent the number five in my ones part of my mat right here, okay? And so the way I would do that is I would say one, two, three, four, five, okay? Well, do I have enough of my 10 frame in my ones place filled up to now create a 10? No, I still have plenty of space. And so these stay in my ones area as ones. And this is the way that we would represent the number five. It's just with five single cubes. Well, now let's look at a two digit number and what we would do with that two digit number. What if, let's, actually, let's learn how to represent the number 11. Okay, so this is the standard form of 11. That's the way we normally see it. How many digits is the number 11? The number 11 is one, two digits. It is a two digit number, okay? And let me show you what that means. It, well, it means that we are going to have a group of 10 and then extra ones. But let me show you what that looks like on a tens and ones mat, okay? So first, I'm going to count out all 11 cubes and put it in my ones area. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, they filled up all ten, but I need one more. So I'll put it to the side, okay? Well, if you look right here, what do you notice about my 10 frame? Do I have all 10 filled up? Yes, I do. So what I'm actually going to do with all 10 of these is I'm going to put them together to create a tens rod and then move that tens rod into my tens area, okay? So I'm taking all of these and I'm building a tens rod. All right, so all 10 of them, only the ones in my 10 frame. And now I have made a group of 10. So I'm going to take this 10 rod group of 10 and I'm going to move it in my 10s place, okay? Well, there was one left over and I can move it right here. So now this is showing me how to represent the number 11. I have one group of 10 and one more is the number 11. And if we look at our whiteboard, that's exactly what it's showing us. Um, if I split up my digits into tens and ones, it's telling me that I have one group of 10 and then one extra one to represent the number 11. All right, let's do another one like this, okay? Just a second. Now I want to represent the number 15. The first thing I'm thinking about is how many digits is the number 15? Can you tell me? 15 is a one, two digit number. Good job. So that means that it has, write this right here, boop. It has one number in the tens place, which represents a group of 10, and then it has five extra ones in the ones place. So the way that I would build this is, well, I know I need one group of 10, and this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So 
I'm going to put my one group of 10 in my tens area. And then I have how many numbers do I need in my ones place? Five ones. So I'm going to take five ones and place them in my ones area. And this represents 15, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, now let's talk about base 10 blocks, okay? And they are very similar to cubes, but they look like this. Let me show you. This is an example of a one because it's a small little cube and it represents one. So we use these cubes, these one little cubes, to help us represent numbers in the ones place. I'm gonna put one up here. Well then, this right here is a group of 10. And so this is called a tens rod. It has 10 of the little ones all stuck together. Just like how I had stuck together all of my cubes this already has them all stuck together to create or to represent a group of 10. So I can put 10s up here. So whenever we look at numbers, we can use 10s rods and 1s blocks to help us represent. Let's see what that would look like, okay? Let's look at the number 4. How many digits is the number 4? The number four is a one digit number. So that means that if I were to break it up into a tens and ones chart, it would go right here under ones. And then we don't have any tens because four is a one digit number. So when I represent the number four, I, it's telling me that I just need four ones. So let me represent it on my um, frame right here. I would do one, two, three, four. Okay, so this represents the number four because it's one, two, three, four ones. Let's look at it, another number, okay? All right, so let's represent the number 13. Okay, how many digits is the number 13? 13 is one, two digits. It's a two digit number. That means that we have a number in our tens place, which is a one, write that right here. And it's a number in the ones place, which right here is the number three. So when we build this number, it's telling us that we have one group of 10 and three extra ones. So when I build this on my um, board, I need one group of 10, so that means one tens rod, and then three extra ones. One, two, ah, three. And then the way we would count this is 10, 11, 12, 13. All right.